Retro bassin, kicking some ass and wearing rayon jackets. Think about Bill Dance. Welcome to Retro Bassin. Welcome to Wayne's World. Welcome to Wayne's World. Okay, if you didn't guess today, we are doing a little uh, multi channel collaboration. Got Retro Bassin, and my two kids here have Waze World. They're going to do their episode on the kids' channel, and we're going to do ours. We have one common goal, and that is this. We're stuck in here in our quarantine in Central Texas, and we're trying to figure out things to do, and yes. have to dig out this, an old school Lord Jensen wood carving kit. We're going to make our own lures. We've got to figure out which of the lures in this pack we're going to use, and then we're going to Probably not at this point, but after we make our lures, we're going to go fishing with them and see if we can actually catch some fish on the vintage Lord Jensen wood lure carving kit. It says, car it says carving kit, but you don't actually even carve the things. You just paint them and then screw in these hooks. So we'll do that. Wait, I don't get it. Uh... So, so the kit comes with this. It comes with a bunch of blank bodies. Yeah. <laughs> and some really high quality hooks. And, yeah. and that's it. Wow. The kids are getting the paint all set up. We'll run through this box real quick. This is pretty cool. I don't know where I picked this thing up, but it says wood lure carving kit. As they mentioned, you don't actually carve anything, uh, but it does come with four pretty cool blanks and you paint them however you want. There's no paint included, so we're just gonna use our random kids paint. Uh, the box, let's see what it says. Uh, complete instructions and fishing tips, bodies and all components to make your own fishing lures. Comes with five complete lures. We'll check out the back. Whether you're a fisherman or antique or unique lure collector or a craftsperson looking for a new world to conquer, you'll get great enjoyment from fashioning and finishing your own lure designs. Uh, the five bodies that are supplied in this kit are traditional lure shapes uh, using easy to work wood. The bodies have been shaped and pre drilled for ease of finishing. Uh, with a little more precision in the location and all the necessary hardware. The creation of the final finish is the most exciting and rewarding part. Your instruction manual will describe the techniques to achieve many different designs, uh, from the froggy pattern to the very popular uh, fish or insect finishes. Your imagination, your hands are your tools, and there are no limits. Fish and fishermen are a crazy lot. Who knows what they will bite on next? Let's see. That way. Let's see. Here we've got our wood carving kit. We're going to open it up and let the kids pick which lures they want. Yes, you think. I'll show you guys first when you open it up. It comes with actually five different bodies. Here's the first one. That resembles almost a wood chopper kind of bait. All right, number two, this is clearly a popping bait, or a, I think that Lord Jensen had one, um, some sort of popper. So here's another smaller version of looks like a wood chopper bait. Yeah, I don't know what that one is. It almost looks like a, um, like a spook or a minnow or, or maybe a devil's horse kind of bait. Looks like a skinny fish. And lastly, this is a miniature bass areno. I can tell by the scooped out face. It's a classic shape right there. So Caroline's gonna paint the wood chopper. The spoon thing on it. And Waylon's gonna paint the ice cream cone. The popper. Looks like ice cream cone. <laughs> there you go. I Wait. think I'm gonna go with the bass areno. The Bass Arena? Yeah. All right, I'm gonna go with the Bass Arena. Classic. The taco. Or the taco. <laughs> You're just saying all of them look like a taco. All right, we've got a couple of the models on which we're gonna base them. So Waylon has got a topwater popper. He loves frogs, so we've figured out this is a Fred Abergast frog pattern. Show it to you. Classic jitterbug. It's got the white belly, green back with black spots. 
and yellow eyes. And yellow eyes. So that's gonna be your model. Mm-hmm. Looks cool. I like it. Ow. Caroline has a ch wood chopper. I found this. This is a head and tiny torpedo in sort of a rare color. It's almost like a white shore minnow. It's got a, a white body with a black Spitting. bone structure and little blue eyes. So that'll that'll be your bait. Okay. And because I've got the Bassarino, I'm gonna paint this in the classic red, white, and blue from the old school, original Lord Jensen Bassarino. To the other day and and we're all done with our painting our lures so we're gonna do the hooks. Here's Waylon's bait right here and he ended up making PJ pop. PJ pop? <laughs> Here's Caroline's bait and this is a wood chopper in a pink shore minnow color. And there's the original. And lastly was me. So here's my sweet paint job. Looks like a popsicle. Does look like a popsicle. No, it's okay, taco. The classic Bassarino. We've already painted them, varnished them. We've got to add some hooks. hooks. Uh -huh. So it came with this pretty sweet packet of hooks and blades and spinners and, and all kinds of stuff. Thing in the front, two hooks, one in the back, one in the belly, blue eyes, pink skeleton. He, it is done with the unicorn tail. Dun, dun, dun. Swim. Probably the fish will definitely want to eat this. I can't wait to use this thing. We'll go fishing. <laughs> Me too. Ow. Yeah. Ow. We're done with our fishing lures. We are done with our lures. So we just finished, uh, I don't know that we did this right, but it's okay. Mm -hmm. We, uh, <laughs> there was a lot of hardware I didn't use. Want to mm -hmm. show everybody our lures? Yeah. All right, so yeah. here's Waylon's lure. So this is the PJ Pop in the frog pattern. Pretty sweet. We end up upgrading the hooks with some gamagatsus and also a feather tail. That's a pretty good lure, what? Mm, thank you. And then Caroline has the a wood chopper in the pink shore minnow color. The spinning blades. Spinning blades, but does it actually spin in the water? And then here's Dad's monstrosity, the Vassarino, mm. the old school red, white, and blue. The best way to do the white. Wait, it's old school? Yeah. It is. It's a little old school. Oh. Yeah. Should we do something in the comment section? What should we tell people to uh, tell us in the comment section? Um, what's your favorite kind of lore? What's the favorite lore? Okay, so yeah, which lore is your favorite in the comment section? In the comment and section. And Waylon, you have anything else to say about uh, this down below? Any button we should hit? Um, down below you can either hit a thumbs up or hit a thumbs down. A what? thumbs down? <laughs> Why would they hit a thumbs down? <laughs> no, I don't want a thumbs down. I want a thumbs up. Thumbs up. Okay. That's what I want. And subscribe down below. Yeah. Hit the bell icon. And also, if you've got little kiddos in the house, be sure to check out Waze World. We're going to have a matching episode up on their channel as well. And I'll put links for that down below. Kiddo at school. <laughs> and. <laughs>
and fish it old school. That's pretty good. Fish and old school, this old stuff rules. Welcome to Retro Bastard.